And developing today, people who live and work in Chinatown, they're going to get the chance to meet tonight with the developers of a proposed new 76ers arena. A lot of residents say they've been left out of the loop in the plans, and they're hoping to ask questions directly of those developers. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute. The sign says, we want to be a great neighbor. But residents, activists, and people who work in Chinatown say 76 place developers are making the wrong first impression. That was such a underhanded, sneaky stealth move um, that it was um, just disappointing. Their frustration stems from being blindsided by a parking refinancing bill at Philadelphia City Council's Finance Committee last week. They claim the bill contains certain language that would help developers move the arena process along by shutting down Filbert Street between 10th and 11th Streets, a vital area in the Chinatown community. How are we going to know this stuff, right, if nobody is keeping the community members in the loop? Because of this, community organizers will be holding a first of its kind open town hall to talk about the arena's future, 6 o'clock Wednesday night. The bill has since been amended to strike the language removing Filbert Street, but residents we spoke with say this is about transparency. This is terrifying because our they are, they are trying to ignore the voice of a Chinatown. In a statement, a 76 Deaf Corp spokesperson says we are coordinating with stakeholders in collaboration with the city to outline what is necessary to make this project possible, which would include changes to Filbert Street. Our understanding is that this bill simply keeps the option open for changes that would still need approval in the future. At the meeting Wednesday night, participants hope to get to the heart of the matter. My kids' generation, younger, younger generation, will never be able to recap. Again, that meeting is happening tonight, 6 o'clock, at the Ocean Harbor restaurant. We're told it will be conducted in Mandarin with interpretations in English and Cantonese, so as many people as possible can attend. In Fashion District, Jasmine Payute, CBS 30 Hour News.